So in our class meeting today, we had some questions about the work for this week where we're factoring quadratics. <clears throat> uh, one of the questions that was brought up was about number eight on the assignment, which reads x squared plus x minus 42. And I want to remind you, our answers in these show up as two parentheses where we're factoring this apart to show what it would look like before it was multiplied. And what ends up in here should be what would be on the outside of our box where we to do our box method. But if you watch my video from Tuesday morning, you will see that um, I use what's called an X puzzle. And I really do see these as puzzles. I think they're kind of fun to do. So we have negative 42 would go at the top of our puzzle. And what goes down in the base of this puzzle is what's here in front of that X, and it's a one. And what we're gonna look for are two numbers that when I multiply them together, I get negative 42. When I add them together, I get positive one. So I want you to think about your times tables and what you know about factor pairs that could lead to 42. And if I think about it, the most common factor pair that we know from our times tables is six and seven that would lead to 42. Now, when I take those two numbers and I add them together, I need to end up at positive one. Well, if you notice here, this is a negative 42. That means when it got multiplied, we had to have one be positive and one be negative. So I can start to fill this in. I'm gonna have a negative number and I'm gonna have a positive number. I know that because this number comes from this box in my table. So whatever happens, there's a negative here and a positive here that when those two numbers get multiplied together, I get a negative 42. I also know that I have an X and an X here because this box would have X squared. What has to end up here are my like pairs that would end up being an X with an invisible one in front of it. Because when you take this quadratic, this is here, this is here, and then what's in the middle is the combined like terms. So if we think about six and seven, when I multiply them, I get 42. When I add them, I get 13. Well, that's not what I want. I want a one. One of these has to be negative, and one of them has to be positive to get that multiplied. <clears throat> and it makes sense that the seven would be positive because the one is positive. So positive seven, negative six. Let's try that and see if that works. X times seven would get me seven X. Negative six times X would give me negative six X. When I combine those like terms, do I get a positive one X? And I do. So that means that the answer to this is negative six, positive seven. The next question uh, I want to go over from your work is number 10. And I'm really glad that somebody in our class meeting asked about it because I found out I had a typo. <laughs> so on your assignment in that Google Doc that you guys got your own copy of, right now it reads x squared plus 12xy plus 27xy. Well, I should have known that that was a typo because these are like terms and they would be combined. <clears throat> That's not what I actually meant to create for you as a problem that x, y needs to come off, and this needs to be y squared. <clears throat> we want to know what that equals as a factored pair. Well, I know that the x is going to be in the front, and I also know that there's going to be a y in the back, and that everything here is positive. So let's start putting together our puzzle and our box and see if we can figure this out. Here, x squared and 27y squared. What ends up here in the middle is going to end up equaling 12xy. <clears throat> so I know that this is an x, and I know that this is an x, because those two make that x squared. Something's going to be here, and something's going to be here attached to a y. <clears throat> So 
this X puzzle helps us figure this out, what goes into the parentheses. 27 goes up here and 12 goes down here. And the question is then, what gets multiplied to get us 27 and what gets added to give us 12? And do we have positives or negatives to worry about here? Well, everything here is positive. When I multiply, I get a positive. When I add, I get a positive. So I'm gonna say that these are both positive. Two numbers that when I add them together, I get 12, but when I multiply them and get 27, it would be nine and three. So I think that this is x plus 9y and x plus 3y. <clears throat> Sorry, that's off the screen a little bit. And I'm going to come over here to my box and I'm going to see if it works. 9y, 3y. X, x times 9y is going to give me 9xy. <clears throat> 3y times x is going to give me 3xy do those two together equal 12xy and they do so this is my solution let's try one more problem together with two variables being dealt with again number 11. so I have x squared minus 18xy plus 56y squared we're trying to find the factors that when I put them in our box or I FOIL them would give me this as a result. I know in this box I get x squared and in this box I get 56y squared. That means this is an x and this is an x, which with my parentheses means x here and x here. There's something in front of these y's, but to get that y squared here, y times y has to happen. <clears throat> and I'm gonna use my x, put my 56 up here, my negative 18 down here, and I wanna to try to figure out what are two things that when I add them together, I get negative 18, but when I multiply them together, I get 56. Well, when I think of 56 in my times table, I think of eight times seven. Eight times seven would get me 56. But negative eight plus negative seven gets me negative 15. And the numbers that I pull for this have to also work for this. Negative eight times negative seven would get me 56. And I know I have to have two negatives because the multiplied becomes a positive and the added is a negative. So these are both going to be negative. <clears throat> Eight and seven don't work. What else can I divide 56 by? Well, I think I can, I know I could divide it by two, but I'm going to try four. And when I do 56 divided by four, I get 14. So negative 14 times negative four would get me a positive 56. And negative 14 plus negative four would get me negative 18. So this, these are my two numbers, 14 and four. So I'm gonna put 14 here, four here, and I'm gonna see if I can finish my table so that I can make sure that what's outside here is what's gonna go inside these parentheses. This is gonna be negative 14y times x. So I get negative 14xy. x times negative 4y would get me negative 4xy. And these two together, when I combine like terms, they do get me back to that negative 18. So that means that I have a negative 4y and a negative 14y. And that is our solution when I factor this quadratic. Let me know if you have other questions and I hope you can make our meeting next week on Wednesday at 1.30.